Well, hi guys, welcome back to Rosie's Inspiration. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along on me reupholstering a antique lampshade. My first attempt ever doing this, but I feel that with me being a sewer and stuff like that, that it should be fairly easy to do. So I will show you what the lampshade looks like right now. Um, pretty much as you can see it's in pretty sad shape um, and there's like a tear here and it is very old and <laughs> brittle. Um, I'm not sure if this is the original lampshade to the lamp that um, has been in my family for three generations. I um, really want to get this lampshade reupholstered because it is, it's an eyesore. Um, so um, come along with me and uh, see how well um, I do on this project. So let's get started. All right guys, what I have here is exterior and interior wood glue which I will be using on the inside of the lampshade and some close pens to hold the fabric brown if I need it, sponge to spread the glue, and a half glue gun just in case I might need it. Here I have pre-cut fabric that I've already cut out to go on the inside of the lampshade which is a silky material. And here is a burlap that I'm going to put on the exterior of the lampshade. And what I'm doing here is putting some glue down, spreading it out evenly, I found this to be the tricky part on starting the interior fabric to get it lined up right so that way it laid inside the lampshade evenly all the way around. So what I'm doing next is I'm folding back the material to add more glue on and spread the glue out evenly. And I will be doing this process all the way around until the end. Alright, I am pretty much done lining the fabric in. Now I am going to be cutting matches in between where the wires are so that way the fabric will lay straight. And I will repeat this like three other or two other times. Now that I have finished completing turning the lid to fit between the wires, now I'm turning the top and bottom excess fabric before I put the burlap on the outside of the lampshade. completed the top part of the lampshade on gluing and tucking the fabric under. Now I am working on the bottom half of the lampshade. I have decided only to glue the top edge and the bottom edge of the lampshade 
so that way the cracks that were shown on the inside don't show on the outside of the landscape. And with me doing this, it did work out very nicely. guys, I apologize, my camera died before I could finish. So what I did with excess material on the outside that I did not glue down, I ended up holding it under and gluing it down and then after it dried I tucked the extra material underneath like I did here for the other material that I glued on the inside. All right, guys, it has been a couple days. Um, the task was kind of hard, but I achieved my uh, goal that I wanted to do. And I would have to say I'm very, very pleased on how I recovered this lampshade. Let me tell you, it was a challenge. I ran into the part where... Um, it was kind of like a really weird material. Um, it wasn't, it was like paper, but it was more wood. And I don't know if that's just how they made lampshades back in the day. But yes, this is an original lampshade to this lamp. Um, and uh, my great grandmother um, bought this lamp when electricity first came out. So. That will let you know how old this lamp and lampshade is. But I am very, very pleased on how it turned out. And um, this is what it looks like in the daylight. Here's a picture of what it looks like at night. Alright, so if you have learned anything from this video, please... Leave your comments below on what was very helpful for you. And I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That really helps my channel. So, we'll see you later.